guys know what's in here. Chula wear. They make the best posing shorts for men's physique possible. And I've had a long relationship with the owner, Tanil. She's phenomenal. She runs Chula wear. I've actually tried to make my own shorts once upon a time. Unsuccessful. I can't get the material right. This material blows that shit out of the water. I don't know how the hell she does it. But instead of being a competitor, if you can't beat them, join them. So, they already got this down pat. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. This is the new Voltrons, 15 inches. Yo, that's fire, dude. See, what I like about these, I saw them on the internet and they look like an arcade, like, you know, 80s arcade, even 90s arcade, whatever you want to call it. I guess 80s. And then Tanil's like, yo, what the hell? I saw an order come through with your name on it. You kidding me? And I say, what do you mean you're kidding me? She said, I made your own short. Made your own pair for Chicago. This is the first time I'm seeing them, honestly. Honest. She only sent me a rendering. So, exclusive from Chula Wear, the City Kadzovic Chicago Pro posing trunk. And these are the Chicago Bull colors. Ooh. I didn't look at them yet. Are they fire? Chicago Bull colors. Are they fire? Yeah. Yo! That's actually sick. Because black will actually make my waist look smaller, opposed to having a brighter color, like it? pink or something. So. Santino, which one do you like? Ultra you like this Papa. one? Yeah. Which one do you like? This one or this one? It made the garbage. Garbage? Jill, help me pick a short. Come over here. We have option A. She's not here. Or option B. She's not here. I feel like B is like typical. A is different. A is different. A is different. Like I would, I would expect you to wear B. Pop more. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about this one? I like that A is different. Yeah, A is Because like everyone wears B. Yeah. So the thing is, it's for Chicago. So they, she made the Chicago bowl colors. Okay. You know. No, it's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. So we'll find out. You'll have to wait and find out. But yeah, shout out to Chula Wear. If you guys need shorts, don't mess around. They're just the best. They stretch. They feel well. Um, the sizing is perfect. And they come in 15 inch. So you've got big ass quads like me. I want to show them a little bit. Let's go get a cheat meal. Cheesecake Factory is calling my name. The world's greatest restaurant, Cheesecake Factory. This is actually where Chelsea and I had our first date ever. The food was so good that we fell in love and had two kids after this. We got married and it all happened right here, baby. But this is actually my preferred cheat meal every single week, no matter what, ever since the 2017 Olympia. I've been doing this religiously, ordering the same food every single time like a psychopath. <laughs> Another great thing about the Cheesecake Factory, dude, anabolic lighting. So it's good to take your progress pictures and send them to your coach inside the Cheesecake Factory elevator. <laughs> Imagine. But we'll do that again after I eat, and you're gonna see veins fucking everywhere. Well, they're everywhere right now because I'm a freak. I'm gonna tell you guys what I like and exactly why. A lot of these cheesecakes are 1,400 calories, but the carrot cake is the highest calorie dessert on the menu. Look at that, 1,720. That's why I always get the carrot cake. But sometimes I switch it up with the salted caramel because it's fire. Where's the salted caramel? Somewhere here. Oh, it's over here. I wonder what the calories are. Let me check. Only 1,240. That's extra 500 calories you're not getting just from one cake to another. I think I need the, the carrot cake. We're gonna go with the classic burger, cooked, cooked medium with Swiss cheese, regular fries, and uh, I'm gonna do the carrot cake. I want everything at once. Carrot cake also. Despite what people think, I am a very hard gainer, okay? So the reason I love this meal at Cheesecake Factory is because of the calories. So what I just ordered, the classic burger, that's $12.80, plus fries, $5.30, plus $17.20 for the cheesecake, that's 3,500 calories in just one meal. Yesterday I consumed 2,200 calories all day. 
guys watch my full day of eating, 2,200 calories versus one meal, just 3,500. So this is what my body needs and craves once a week in order to jumpstart the system, keep the thyroid functioning well, and keep my metabolism high. Also, some mental sanity along the way, which I've lost that mental sanity a long time ago, dude. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> he's, like, he's like, bro, that's you? I'm like, yeah, I've been coming here for years. He's got no idea I look like this with my shirt off. you sure you know this? Really? <laughs> Well, then, you know, Jackie, yeah. You're coming with your wife, right? Yeah, you're coming with your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What can I do? I can't flex in here. But sometimes I recognize you when I'm sitting here eating. Sometimes people walk by looking at me like, ah. <laughs> Tell me, not the bartender, you know, Daniel? Daniel? He's working hard at his nice, he knows. They say, no, you know, he's the main master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. People respect bodybuilders these days, man. Back in the 70s, like bodybuilding used to be a taboo thing. They used to think you're gay because you have pictures of men with their underwear. Now it's different, you know? Everyone's got a picture of themselves in underwear on the internet. It's weird if you don't. Go figure. <laughs> Amazing. One of my favorite meals, one of my favorite cheat meals to eat. I eat this meal religiously for the last seven years, since 2017's Olympia. Look at that. Can you guys turn up the smell on YouTube land? Now, don't judge me, because sometimes I'll actually like slice up and mash up the burger. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today because we're on YouTube, but I'll mash it up with a knife and fork and throw a bunch of ketchup on there and start doing that. Today I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna eat like a traditional burger and enjoy the hell out of this. Because I'm gonna look weird as fuck. My body was built on ketchup and shrimp. Not exactly in that order, but a similar order. Ketchup and shrimp. Oh yeah, that'd be a good merchandise. Ketchup and shrimp. Damn. Six days out. I'm eating like this. Crazy to feel. Remember 10 days ago, I wasn't sure if I was going to make weight. Look at me now, Mom. I made it. Yeah. The key is to eat it fast, man, because. This meal gets difficult to eat if you wait if you wait too long. A lot of calories. Wow. So good. Just my fanny pack. Oh. Wow. I'm sweating. A lot of fucking food and a lot of sugar. Ooh. All right, guys. We're gonna head out to Chicago in a couple days. But there's one frozen rice, microwavable rice in specific, that I swear by and it's from Trader Joe's. It's the white jasmine rice. The reason I like this is because it has no oils and no preservatives, and you throw it in the microwave, because all I have in the hotel room is a microwave. So rather than making some pre-made rice and having it get all stale and funky when you warm it up, I'll just make it fresh every day. So I'm gonna get like five or 10 of these boxes. These things are always sold out also, so try to plan ahead. Don't do this last minute. But this rice, bro, you know the Cat Williams skit? This shit right here, this shit right here, this is the shit. So I think it's like three cups in here. Uh, microwave's perfect. Like I said, no oils, no preservatives. The most important thing, especially when you're about to step on stage. You get as many as, as I can. They're like, sir, there's a three box limit on rice. 
dude, bodybuilders go crazy for this. This is a secret. The other microwavable rice that you get in the grocery stores, it has oils and preservatives, so be careful with that one. This is fine. I wish I had one that matches my fanny pack. Cooler bag. Bring one of these for the airplane, put all your cooked food in here. Essential. All right, we were at Trader Joe's, now we're at Stop and Shop. I need to get tub aware to travel with, with my frozen food, as well as freezer bags. I have this trick that I do with these bags where I package up my cooked protein and I travel with them. So I'm gonna show you guys what that's like. All right, this is what I need. These are fire. How many are these, 20 for 14 bucks? Throw them away when I'm done. As I eat them on the airplane, just toss them, toss them, toss them. Um, these are good. They won't really open, and if they do, then I'll use extra tape. This way they don't break open on the airplane or when I'm traveling. This will be accompanying me in my cooler bag in my carry-on, as well as I get these really big Ziploc bags. So typically when I compete, I'll be eating chicken, steak, and fish. So I just get a huge freaking bag like this. It's a, like a one or two gallon bag. Put all my cooked chicken in one, all my cooked fish in another, and all my cooked steak in another, and bring my food scale with me. Then I'll just weigh it out as I go. By the time I land in Chicago, it's about a three hour flight. The food will still be cold, and uh, I'll be ready just to put that in the mini fridge. So that's how I avoid any kind of mishaps with my food, any kind of oil seasonings that are unnecessary prepared by the chef. I know everything's prepared by me. It's exactly how I prepared it, exactly how I cook it, and I'm gonna respond exactly like I've been responding because I'm the one who made it. I know what's inside. Yo, if you got a wife at home with kids, you go to the grocery store, you buy the wrong item. Hey baby, is this the right almond milk? Yes, but do they have big ones in the jug? Uh, they must have, uh, what kind do you want? Original, unsweetened original? Uh, you got, you want two of those? All right, I have another question. You said salad. What does that mean? What kind of salad? It's like the box, like the, the thing with lettuce. What's it called? What kind of salad? What kind of salad? <laughs> Mediterranean, iceberg, which one? So 50 50 blend. 50 50 blend. All right, what that's kind of brand? Any kind of brand you like in here? In a bag or in a box? Blue diamond. In the box or in the what? Right here, like these things? In the bag, in the bag, blue diamond. Lightly roasted, salted, or natural? Natural. This one? Yeah. All right, I love you. Bye. Yo, it's hard to go grocery shopping for your wife, man. It's maybe the last straw right here. I got to call her another time. Hey, I'm looking for Pasina. Where can I find it? Am I in the right aisle for Pasina? <laughs> hey, Santino. Oh, we can't see you. You can see us. Uh, Pasina, where can I find it? All right, how many boxes? Two? We've been sitting here for 10 minutes. Say like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah. All right, love you. Bye. All right. Good thing about YouTube is this I've been working with some coaches uh, over the past 10 years. One of my coaches was like, yo, by the way, I seen on my one of your videos, you've been using this rice. And I'm like, yo, yeah, microwavable, mad convenient. He's like, but dude, don't use that no more. Look at the back. All the way in a fine print. You just think it's rice, right? Bro, look at this shit. Canola oil, sunflower oil, soy, lectin. Dude, you can't have that when you're trying to when you're trying to get super lean. Because all this adds up, especially if you're having three or four of these bags a day all that oil, you know, having to process that through your system is gonna affect you or inhibit the ability of you getting super lean. Um, like, and I'm talking about like on a competitive stage, not for the average person trying to look good for the beach or whatever. But um, although these are delicious, great options for the off season, pre-contest, especially weeks for the show, you can't have that. That's why we went to Trader Joe's for that other Jasmine rice jump off, which is fire. Yeah.
We're going to see Kenny Wallach for the last time before the Chicago Pro Stage. Now, Kenny's my longtime posing coach, my friend, my confidant, one of my best buds in the whole world, but he's an absolute wizard when it comes to posing. In fact, he's been doing this since he was 14. He's now like 60. So, 14 minus 60, that's a whole lot of fucking years doing this, man. You know? Started out in Connecticut helping just a couple local people choreograph their posings to songs. But, uh, you know, although we won't be choreographing any posing routines for men's physique, he's very good at putting me exactly where I need to be in the two mandatory poses, the front and back. He's very good with that. He's got some great systems in place. Um, he's the best in the world, you know, and that's how I am. If I want to be the best in the world, I work with the best in the world. I align myself with the best in the world. And uh, if you do that for many years, then you too can become great. Because these mentors and these relationships and these coaches, they'll, you'll be able to have a fast track to success by bypassing all the trial and error needed to get there. Think about it, 40 plus years of experience. How could I possibly do that in a short, you know, six, seven, eight years? Like, it's impossible. You know, I'd be playing catch up, but at this point, I'm getting the cheat sheets, you know, from people that have been there and done that. <sighs> Feels right there. Back shot on the screen. <sighs> Feel good. So, if you notice, when I'm here, first pose, I get in a perfect every time because I have more time to set up. Right. See, just from here, I'm kind of like, now I'm just, all right, let me catch it, now I'm reverse. Opposed to catching it in the forward position. Yeah. But uh, the next time after that, we'll be when we win. That's it. Yep, that's it. Yeah, smoke these guys. Don't forget about your card. Don't lose oh, no, it. No, no, it's in my There's no, something important in there for you. It's a piece of my hair. And <laughs> <laughs> People are confused. Yeah. What are you eating? Some oh air? Yeah. <laughs> some fucking uh, ice cubes. Mm -hmm. Please, some ice cubes. How's that? Some people, they get older, they get worse in the sport. Other people, they get older, they get better. More body awareness, more uh, awareness with the food, how it's assimilating. You know, I'm gonna have more control and more, I can feel more because I have more of that, I guess, just hours of tutelage and experience. Yeah, how to activate certain things, order, you know. But, um, you know, my gear is pretty much the same. Food is pretty much the same. So it's gotta be just a train. It doesn't work that way. But it doesn't not work that way either. Yeah, the water. What about the trend, bro? Duh. 
geniuses. I'm with the big guy shooting content. <laughs> Is that what people ask you? You're yeah. with the big guy? Dad, what are you doing? I'm with the big guy shooting content. Wow. Are you gonna pump more? Yeah. <laughs> Have to. That's it. Take a picture with my shitty phone. Okay, me and the big guy, no shirt. <laughs> ah, no Let's go. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to... So, that was like my third last workout before the show. So I have two more workouts after this. Uh, maybe three, yeah. I have three workouts left. So, tomorrow's a full on rest day. If I wake up, I don't like the way I look, then I'll do like a little bit of cardio, but it should be a full rest day. Now, after that, I'll train Monday as normal. And then Tuesday we'll travel. When we land in Chicago, we'll train. Kind of want to train at a different gym, different environment, especially it's good for the YouTube, so we'll record that. And then Wednesday will be my final training session, which is like an all body workout with my coach, Cash. So he'll push me through that workout. Um, and that's it. Everything light, you know, nothing too crazy. No muscle is going to be built at this point. It's all about just getting blood flow in there. Maybe 30 minute pump and a little bit of posing. So all the hard work is done, guys. Keep the muscle hard and dense and rest and recover. I'm stoked. <laughs>